Hey everyone, my name is Bogdan. I'm pretty much the new guy over at Revoicer. They've given me free reign to just play around with everything uh, Revoicer related. And it's fair to say that I've taken it as a kind of an opportunity to have some fun on company time, which is uh, very difficult to turn down. Now, rather than just having me talk about it and all of that, let's have to listen to our, my compilation of clone voices. You are not welcome here. Do try not to exceed your welcome. We should not enter that house. That house is haunted, and I'm terrified of it. We must understand that sadness is an ocean. You absolute worthless excuse for a human being. You've made me angry. Sometimes you meet a person and you just click. You're comfortable with them, like you've known them your whole life and don't have to pretend to be anyone or anything. Hey there, I want to tell you a secret. Don't speak too loudly or they will hear us whisper. Okay, so that was the compilation of my clones. It's worth mentioning that I have never recorded myself saying those lines. But let's keep things simple for now, okay? Let's just go through the um, process of actually creating a voice clone. Click on clone voice or here, here, or here. We'll just choose this one and we get greeted by the three steps in which we uh, create the voice clone. Firstly, this text here. here. Please read and understand everything that's said and sign your name. And then we name our voice too. It's worth uh, mentioning that this cannot be changed in the future. So be very wise in uh, choosing your name. Okay, now this screen is basically where the magic happens. In this step, we have a record voice or a load the file, voice file option. These 20 seconds are the most important thing about this. So don't be discouraged if it doesn't work on your first attempt. It can happen, especially if it's the first actual attempt that you try. Try it again. Record your voice again. Make sure that you have no background noise. Make sure you turn off any fans, air conditioning. Ensure that your cat has enough pets to ensure about maybe a minute without any meows. It's important also to note that we should not be using any pauses or as little pauses as possible because the end result will also have that. Now, if we have long pauses, it can make the voices sound more robotic. Also, pay attention to when you hit record. If there's a, a pause at the beginning, that will also count as a pause. So when we hit record, we're going to start talking as soon as possible. Okay, let's see how, uh, how it goes. Nature is truly amazing because it's a source of endless wonder and inspiration. The towering trees in the forest seem to touch the sky. Uh, now we have our voice uh, over here. You can listen to us truly. Sorry about that. It's been odd <laughs> for the video. Um, but you can listen You can listen to yourself back. And uh, if you don't like it, you can just replace it. Do it again. I think it's it'll be fine this time. So we'll just go ahead and click the voice clone. Okay, and we can see that our voice clone has now been generated. So let's have a listen and see what the results are. Nature is truly amazing. It's a source of endless wonder and inspiration. The towering trees in the forest seem to touch the sky. Okay, that sounds good. So let's add this to our library. And now it will show up on the top here in the cloned voices. As you can see, here it is. And before we proceed, I also wanted to show you uh, something that I've noticed while I have a voice here that I uh, really like, a clone here, and we'll experiment a little bit with this and I'll show you. First, we'll do this sentence, put it here, a dot, done. Let's just generate a, the audio for this. Okay, now it's done. So what I will do is I will generate another one, but we will add two more dots at the end. Let's just generate this and at the end, I'm going to show you why. Okay, this one's done too. And what I'll do with the last one is I'll leave the dots here and I'll just add two more spaces. Nothing else, just two more spaces here at the end and click generate. Okay, the third one is done. So now let's have a listen to each one. They should all be the same, right? It's the same exact text. The only difference is some punctuation at the end and some spaces at the end. So let's have a listen. We should not enter that house. That house is haunted. And 
we should not enter that house that house is haunted we should not enter that house the house is haunted you see how there's there's a slight difference in each of them there's very very subtle differences in each of the um, generated audios uh, this may come in handy to you when you're generating audio just sometimes add some more punctuation even if it's not grammatically correct add some more spaces if it doesn't sound right and you might just get exactly what you want now what we'll do next is we'll use this, these voices that we've made with my different mood swings and we will basically create a conversation from a movie between different characters firstly let's add a new project just so all of this gets removed we start fresh and we'll call this uh, quote so I've prepared all of the uh, quotes that we'll be using each character will be one of my cloned voices so bear with me I'll uh, do it as fast as I can okay so we now have all of our files generated as you can see here all of the quotes that we will be adding into one final file so what we will do now is we will press the select all button and then we will click on merge selected and we will see that it shows all of the files now this may be overwhelming uh, but it's basically all of the files that we've checked marked before in a list in front of us now we can modify the order of this as you can see and make it so if we want to put this here we can we just simple drag and drop whatever we want and then we just name it and click merge voices should be done in just a few seconds and now we have our final audio let's have a listen you're supposed to stick in the ground is in the ground Mary fearfully tosses the rocket to Pippin. The fuse sizzles angrily. Outside. I've always secretly wanted to hear a conversation between my multiple mood swings within the Shire of all places. But yeah, now that uh, Revoicer Voice Clone Pro is out, that means that uh, we don't, we're not limited to ten voice clones. So we can have as many as we want, which is massive from my point of view, because I have started adding a lot of them. And just wanted to show you that uh, even a person with no kind of voice, voice acting experience like myself can basically make their voice clones emotional with a voicer. And don't forget, I am part of the uh, support uh, at Revoicer, so you can always send us a message if you have any kind of questions uh, if you experience any kind of issues, we are just one ticket away. Send us, a support, send us a support message and me and my colleagues will make sure that you are well looked after. Thank you very much for listening.